as more features are added to the Apple iPad and iPad Pro, making them nearly as capable as a full computer, many people use them as primary devices for getting work done, both while at home and on the road. However, typing on a touchscreen can be rather frustrating, so there are keyboards specifically designed for iPads that you can use to enhance your typing experience. After researching the market, we have come up with the top 6 best iPad keyboards from the market. They will do what they are intended for and some more. So without further ado, let's start with the video. And don't forget to check the product link in the description. Number 1. Apple Magic iPad Pro. The Apple Magic Keyboard for iPad 2021 is the best keyboard for iPad we've tested. As its name suggests, it's Apple's flagship model for use with their 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pro models. It uses Apple's smart connector feature to connect to the iPad and draw power directly from it. While this means the keyboard isn't compatible with any other mobile device, it means you just have to worry about charging your iPad and not the keyboard. The folio case attaches with a strong magnet on the back that holds your iPad in place. The Apple Magic Keyboard for iPad 2021 is designed for use with an 11-inch iPad Pro or an iPad Air, or 12.9-inch iPad Pro, depending on the size you get. It connects to the iPad using a smart connector and uses power from the iPad, meaning you don't need to worry about charging it. However, since it uses power from the iPad, you may need to charge your iPad more often. The Apple iPad Magic Keyboard is unremarkable for programming. You can't set macros to any of the keys, and since it's designed for use with iPads only, you can't use it with any other device or pair it to another operating system. The Apple iPad Magic Keyboard is unremarkable for gaming, but it isn't designed for this purpose. You can't use this board with a computer since it's designed to work with iPads only. Number 2. Logitech Combo iPad Pro. It makes your tablet quite a lot heavier, but the Logitech Combo Touch iPad keyboard case is a sturdy, protective accessory that's as comfortable to type on as it is quick to set up. They've not quite yet replaced the MacBook, but with the inclusion of the M1 chip in this year's iPad Pro models, Apple's tablets are getting pretty close to replacing traditional laptops. A key missing part of the puzzle is a lack of built-in physical keyboard and mouse input for the touchscreen native devices, but options like the Stellar Logitech Combo Touch iPad keyboard case, reviewed here, make a much more compelling argument when it comes to considering ditching a laptop entirely. There are gaps for the USB-C port, as well as openings for speakers, mics, and the rear camera module. The other side is your keyboard element, which magnetically snaps onto your iPad's smart connector, automatically pairing and drawing power from the tablet's battery, meaning the case itself never needs charging so long as your iPad is ready to go. It's a really comfortable typing experience this whole review is written using the Combo Touch and while iPadOS isn't quite yet a replacement for macOS, the Logitech Combo Touch makes the iPad a genuinely useful workhorse. With its trackpad, quality keyboard and shortcut functions, the Combo Touch has everything you need to get work done on the go. Rigid and sturdy, the case will do a good job of protecting your iPad from bumps and drops. Number 3. Logitech Combo iPad. If you're looking for a folio keyboard that offers good protection for your iPad, the Logitech Combo Touch is a solid choice. It comes in size variants to fit 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pro models as well as 4th and 5th generation iPad Air models. It also uses Apple's smart connector for power, so you won't have to charge the keyboard as it'll draw power straight from the iPad. On the back of the case, there's a sturdy kickstand to prop your iPad up at a nice viewing angle. The Logitech Combo Touch is a folio keyboard with a detachable iPad case. While we purchased the version designed for the 11-inch iPad Pro, it's also available for the 12.9-inch iPad Pro and the 4th generation iPad Air. The Logitech Combo Touch is bad for programming. It only works with iPadOS, and you can't connect to other devices. It also lacks customization software and macro-programmable keys. On the other hand, it feels well-built and has white backlighting if you prefer working in lower-light environments. The Logitech Combo Touch is a bad keyboard for gaming. It's not designed for this use, and you can only connect it to select iPad Pro or iPad Air models. 
It lacks customization software, none of its keys are macro programmable, and its scissor switch keys are heavy to press. That said, it feels well built and has good ergonomics due to its very low profile. Number 4. Logitech K780. If you're planning on using your iPad as part of a larger, multi-device setup, you may want a more permanent solution at your desk. The Logitech K780 is an excellent choice for a wireless, standalone keyboard to use with your iPad. Along the back, there's a tray with a grippy rubber coating to hold your devices. The tray runs the whole length of the keyboard, so you can easily hold an iPad and a smaller mobile device, and the tray provides a slight tilt, so their screens stay at a nice, visible angle. It connects wirelessly with up to three devices using a Bluetooth connection, and you can switch between devices using the F1-F3 function keys. The Logitech K780 is a compact 96% keyboard that can be used with a wide variety of devices. Although it's designed to work with smartphones and tablets, the keyboard is quite large and heavy, which makes it less travel-friendly. It uses typical scissor switches that require a fair amount of force to actuate, however, the overall typing experience still feels light and responsive. You can use it with its USB dongle or over Bluetooth, and its multi-device pairing feature lets you pair to three devices simultaneously so that you can switch easily between them. The Logitech K780 isn't intended for gaming. Although its scissor switches have a short pre-travel distance, they require a fair amount of force to actuate. Additionally, the latency is quite high. It also lacks backlighting and macro-programmable keys. Number 5. ZAGG Pro Keys. Regardless of the generation of iPad you have, the ZAGG Pro Keys has it covered. This folio-style keyboard is compatible with 10.2-inch iPads, but they also make versions suitable for 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pro and iPad Air models. While the unit we tested doesn't have a trackpad, you can buy a version that does. Since it doesn't use Apple's smart connector, it's one of the best Bluetooth keyboards for iPad available on the market, thanks to its wireless versatility and multi-device pairing ability. You can pair it with up to two devices simultaneously, making it a great choice if you use a laptop or another device alongside your iPad. It has a removable case that magnetically attaches to the rest of the folio keyboard, and it covers all sides of the iPad to protect it. The case has two ridges that let you place the iPad in two different positions, meaning you can adjust it to your needs. It has a built-in battery that charges with a USB-C cable, but some variants don't come with the charging cable. Also, you can pair it with your iPad and a second device via Bluetooth and easily switch between them using the dedicated keys. The ZAGG Pro Keys isn't designed for gaming since it's intended for use with an iPad. Its latency is high compared to dedicated gaming keyboards, and the scissor switches require a bit of force to actuate a key, so they feel a bit heavy. Also, you can't set macros to reprogram any of the keys. Number 6. Bridge iPad 12.9 Max Plus Bridge 12.9 Max Plus has one big selling point, and that's its really massive trackpad. It's far larger than the trackpad on Apple's own Magic Keyboard, or on any other iPad keyboard we've seen for that matter. This lets you take full advantage of iPadOS's gesture controls without ever bumping up against the keys. Speaking of the keys, these are comfy, springy, and they're backlit. You get a full row of media keys to help with video playback and brightness adjustments. This iPad Pro keyboard case's aluminium body and magnetic connection complete the premium, high-grade feel perfect for the Pro. The Bridge 12.9 Max Plus keyboard is designed to improve the productivity of your iPad experience in laptop configuration. It also has a new hinge snap-fit case design that lets you quickly and easily remove the iPad for tablet use and then return it to keyboard use in seconds. The Bluetooth performance has been flawless, and if I hadn't been the one that made the initial connection with my iPad, I would have thought that Bridge was using the Apple Smart Connector technology. The Bridge remains stable in regular use, but if you press the top back to the full 135 degree angle, you may see the keyboard lift up a bit. If you spend a lot of time tapping away on the display with the iPad and the keyboard, then you may see some tipping. When using the keyboard, you should try to spend most of the time using the keyboard and the trackpad to navigate on the iPad.